interesting game today can you talk me through it absolutely um thought we started well um always encourage us to play high up the pitch um want to play a possession game really um but obviously wary of the pace that spr have got um and they did catch us out a couple of times but i wanted the lads to stay confident in our game playing possession um i thought we built up well scored a really nice goal from a corner which we've been working on in training which was good to see and then obviously they came back into it at 1-1, one, one, you're thinking, can can we get the momentum back? Which we did. We managed to get get back on the ball, be confident in our passing, playing out from the back. Um, we created a few chances. Uh, their keeper made a couple of good saves. The message second half, really, you know, having regained the lead just before the break, I think, was to be confident in how we play. Don't resort to that sort of long ball, really, um, which we didn't. So I think we kept that kept that going second half. Fair play to SPR. It's always it's always a great game when we play against them, um, and the. They came back in it again, 2-2, two, two, and you're thinking, blimey, we <laughs> need to get something out of this game now. But um, the response from the lads was outstanding again, and you know, to fight back and get another goal from a set piece, which was which was great to see. So absolutely delighted with the uh, with the three points. Who was the standout player uh, in your perspective? Yeah, a couple really. Uh, Jay, Jay on the wing had a had a brilliant game, sort of torn with the man of the match who we gave in the end. Uh, we gave it to Adam Darbish, who played right back for us, who's absolutely brilliant, solid. Um, but I think we had we had 11 solid players on the pitch at all times, really, and everyone gave 100% right to the very end. And it's a massive win for us, really. It keeps the confidence going and onto the cup next week. Going forward in the league, yeah. uh, what do you say to the lads? Yeah, we, we're just taking it game by game. I know it's in a bit of a bit of a cliche, um, but I think we just want to finish as high as we can in the table now. Um, We've still got some big games to play. We can probably contribute to the title race in some way. A um, bit of an outside bet, but yeah, I'm just happy to get the three points tonight. Yeah, can you talk me through it? Yeah, it was a it was a great game. Good advertisement for the quality at this level as well, um, which I think every week is is is, is I'm impressed by. You know, they're end to end. For us, we we more often than not come out on the losing end, but um, every week we're playing some great stuff. You know, if you if you're looking at a game to entertain you on a Saturday, you know it's controversial decisions, goals that maybe shouldn't have been goals, um, some great football from both teams. So overall, we we've come out on the losing side, unfortunately. But um, 
which is frustrating, but I'm happy with how we've played. Just frustrated we haven't got the result. What do you think the main thing is to improve on going forward? Uh, for us, same as last time I spoke to you, you know, uh, certain moments of the game, realistically, two corners against, uh, two corners against us, and, uh, and we've conceded from them, um, which we've got to do better. We've also, again, got to take the chances when we get them. Um, but overall, St. Mark is an established team in the league. Always competitive, always good games. So if you don't turn up or you've got somebody switching off, then you're going to get punished. It's very rare you see St. Margie's make a mistake. Um, and, 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 and today we got punished because of that.